Yeah. How y'all doing, YouTube? You doing all right? I'm making this video about black media and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about it. And the first thing topic I'm going to talk about is Tyler Perry. Now, I, I actually can see why a lot of people don't like Tyler Perry. Because I just heard about something on his show. He just, he might be getting rid of one of his characters on House of Pain. Which is actually one of the more popular characters on House of Pain. And for what I heard about the episode, the whole plot was going good till the very end. When something tragic just happened. Now, some people had to, people on Twitter, the outbreak on Twitter, because House of Pain was a whopper in the worldwide trending topic. Um, a lot of people were talking about, oh, Calvin got shot, Calvin's going down, House of Pain, why would Tyler Perry do this? And I can't say I'm surprised, because every, every movie, he come, every movie, every TV show he comes out with always has a sad part to it. Which, why everybody says Tyler Perry has sort of the same plot in all of his movies. I ain't going to lie to you, I have some mixed feelings about Tyler Perry. I think it's good a black guy is actually doing big things out in Hollywood, but some of the stuff he does I really don't agree with. Like the whole, I'm kind of mad about the only only movies that people will go see is actually help him in a dress. Now, some, some of the I like, some of the I don't like. I'm just gonna be honest with you, but I'm not gonna lie. Overall, I, I think Tyler, Tyler Perry is yeah, he's okay, but that's just me rambling on and on about it. I might come back to Tyler Perry next, but the next main one of the main things I want to talk about is black TV shows. What the hell are they? I just want to know what the hell are all the black TV show. Now there's a lot of them on BT. BT has come has on, but they suck ass. I'm just going to be honest, but the only good show BT really has is the game, and that wasn't that great this, this week. It was okay, but it didn't really, to me, match up as like the last season. Speaking of the game, how did you guys feel about it? Did you guys think it, it could have done, it could have been better, or uh, do you guys think it, was just, it just flat out sucked, or do you guys, some people just flat out loved it? Now, I'm not going to lie to you. To me, one of the high points of the game, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but if I do, I'm sorry. One of the best things about it was the character TT and the, um, and the bodyguard Bibbs. That they were kind of they had some comedic timing in it, but and also the character Darren Day was played by Pooch Hall, whose real name was Marion, was on the toilet. Shit. That was actually one of the more, one of the more funnier things about the episode. I know they say they're gonna bring about the funny on the game this season, but I want to. I'm, I'm actually interested in seeing where they go with that. Now, I heard a lot of it's gonna be a lot of guest stars. All so I want to see who who they're actually gonna get because they're no BT is actually kind of known for reviving people's careers. Well, BT has this other show called Let's Stay Together, which I think sucks balls. But anyway, I'm not gonna really get into that because I haven't really watched the show. I've actually tried to watch, tried to watch an episode of it, but didn't really get into it. I think the actors are kind of talented, but uh, the show ain't that great. Then they got another show called Read Between the Lines, which actually revives two careers of two former, well, actually a former child star. That actually was a decent child star, and um, the girl from Girlfriends, and Tracy Ellis Ross and Michael Jamal Warner. And I'm not gonna lie to you, though. Actually, the only the best thing about this show are the kids. The the kids are like the best thing about the show, as it should be. It's a family show, and most family shows, if you look think about the past, were mostly the kids, were black shows anyway. But um, well, I just want to know why 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 is BT the only channel that really has all black shows? I mean, I mean, like back in the day, NBC had a whole bunch of black shows, like Good Times and Seven the Sun and Different Strokes and um, The Jeffersons, a whole bunch of shows. Whatever happened to that? Is it that I don't know? Is it that hard for any black writer out in Hollywood to write a show, to shop it over to M NBC that's good enough? Because NBC does have shows with black actors on them, but. There aren't any all black shows, which you know, 
that I can be okay with. Excuse me for burping. But which I can be okay with, but that's just me ranting on and on and on about it. Another thing I want to talk about is rappers and singers. Is it me or are they a whole bunch of hypocrites? Because we all know this whole white girl mob thing with Krayshun and V Nasty. Who and I ain't gonna lie to you, V Nasty is ugly as hell. I don't know why she continues to wear provocative stuff when she she her face really is not and she has book teeth. To me unless she has book teeth. But they say the girl can rap, but her and Krayshun using the word nigga. Now I I for one, I, I'm gonna try not to say the word, but I had to just to get my point across right there. And I wanna know why is a lot of black why are there a lot of black rappers criticizing these girls when they say it in every damn song they sing. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, it's some rappers I I'm I I'm okay with that are tolerable. Like maybe Drake, he could be tolerable at times. A lot of people actually don't like the fact that Drake sings, but I really don't give a crap. I mean, if the guy won't sing, let him sing. And another rap I, I might say I come can tolerate might be Lil Wayne. I wish Lil Wayne wouldn't try to sing, sing like an R&B singer so much because it's kind of it kind of sounds kind of weird, and people actually like it. But I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to sound like a hypocrite or nothing, but because I said I actually kind of enjoy Lil Wayne in a way. And another one I might have to say I could tolerate might be um T.I. And that's, I'm not going to lie, that's probably because I like his show. And I know I said my reality TV ran, I really don't watch much reality TV. But I actually kind of caught myself watching that show. Even though I do think some parts of it could be kind of scripted, but that's another video for another day. And there's a bug crawling on my bed. Hold on. I just whipped its ass. But anyway, back to what I was saying. And I'm gonna get on singers. To me, and I don't know most singers I like now that I would say I would can tolerate would probably have to be maybe Chris Brown when he's not going on a big Twitter rant. Chris Brown, he the guy makes good music. I'm rooting for him to win the Grammy this year. No matter how much I tell my sister, he's probably not going to win. I'm rooting for him to win because I think the guy kind of deserved it. Adam was kind of good. I caught myself singing a lot of songs. Like the song he had with Justin Bieber, which I think was underrated. I caught myself singing this song. Actually, was thinking about downloading the song and putting it on my iPod, but and I'm mad enough to say I like a Chris Brown and Justin Bieber, so I'm mad enough to say it. But, um, now Trey Songs, he can be okay. I like the whole yep moving though. Yeah! I like the whole that he, I like that we had going on, even though he doesn't say it much anymore. But a lot of people complain about Trey Songs, his yodeling. I mean, the guy does yodel. He, he does, does, does some yodeling. But it's, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. But, um,. Anyway, and another thing I'll probably say I could talk, I probably could, uh, I would tolerate cause would be Neo because the guy makes, he makes good love songs. But it's some more, there's a lot of these R&B singers that, uh, that I ain't really feel because it's, it's it seems like every day it's a new R&B singer coming out. Excuse me. But it seems like it's a new R&B singer coming out every day. And they don't know they don't go anywhere. But um, th that's kind of all I had to say about rappers and singers. I'm gonna make another video about rappers that I'm gonna really go in on on the on the negativity of rap or what rap really does to people and what the message it sends. And one of the final things I want to talk about is this whole Black Hollywood thing. Now I, I recently just read this interview with this spot with the actor, actor named Rockman Dunbar. Everybody knows he played Kenny on Soul Food, and he uh, actually gonna play Pookie, Tasha, Tasha Max cousin Pookie on the game. And he said he don't believe in the whole Black Hollywood thing because they actually failed to recognize him at the NWSCP awards. Now he said they they've actually recognize everybody from the Soul Food cast individually. They they even been they was even recognized as a cast, but he failed to get nominated for any award individually. 
And I think that just that just sucks. I mean, cause the guy is he he the guy can act, but he actually said in the, in the same interview that white Hollywood has accepted him. Now I'm like, but I'm also like him though. I don't I kind of don't believe in the whole phrase black and white Hollywood. I just believe in if you got the talent, no matter what color you are, you should be recognized for it. And that's just how what I see. You a lot of other people may think different of, but I I see it as more. Cause there are more and more black actors getting rec getting known. Now I myself as a black actor, I'm, tr I'm trying to get trying to get out there. I'm taking small steps, but I'm God willing, I will get out there as an actor. But um, but there are cause there's there's a lot of them. I actually that I like like Lance Gross and it, um, Pooch Hall from the Gang. I think they 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 can have good careers and um. There's plenty of others, but I think mainly them two just that um they stick out to me. God, I think they can have some pretty good careers out in Hollywood. And a lot of people actually complain that black black actors don't get recognized at big award shows like Golden Globes or Oscars. But fortunately, this year they are, and I actually think they're going to win. And that's Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer. Now, I believe they got a great chance to win win the Golden Globe and get nominated for Oscars. Or most likely, hopefully, win those. And Vaughn Davis has a good chance to win if Meryl Streep doesn't get nothing. Because I think Meryl Streep's nominated. But she beat Meryl Streep at the, Meryl Streep at the Chris Horse Awards last night. So, that's a plus. When that wasn't last night, it was like two days ago now. But, um, she actually beat her in that, in that award. In, in that award. And I actually think she's going to win Sunday at the Golden Globe. So, and I'm pretty sure they're going to, they're going to, BET's going to eat that shit up. I'm very pretty sure BET's going to eat that shit up. And I ain't gonna lie to you, the whole black community is not gonna eat that up. Cause I seen a lot, she was a big trending topic. Her and Octavia Spencer were trending topics and about how a lot of people were saying that they're glad that black, that black people are actually getting recognized at these award shows now. And I hope it continues to be like that. I hope it continues. But, uh, that's kinda all I got to say about black media. Let me, guys, let me know what you think. Put a comment down at the bottom. And let, like the video. I might be back tomorrow with my rappers video, and uh, if I feel like it, I might do a Power Ranger video. Cause the Power Ranger video is going for people, for my Power Ranger fans. The Power Ranger video is going to come whenever I feel like, it, and whenever I watch enough episodes of certain seasons to review a season. So, and I might do another Power Rangers list video. I don't know, but um, this is Dumbledore Twelve checking out. Peace, God bless.